Have you ever sat and stared up at the stars and wondered, where did we come from? Let's take a journey like no other, not to a place, but to a time. Join us as we delve deep into the human past and explore our shared human origins. Welcome to the world of paleoanthropology. Hello, friends and fans of World of Paleoanthropology. Today, we are going to be talking about my favorite hominin on this episode of Skulls with Seth, Homo Naledi. Now, I do want to apologize for the lapse of episodes the last few weeks. It has just been absolutely crazy busy. If you saw my April update, I had the inaugural Bill Campbell lecture in his honor uh, for his passing about a year ago. And then immediately right after that was the 2023 AABAs, which was my first conference. It went absolutely amazing, and it was just great. I met so many of the people that you guys have seen on my show in person. They are all just as nice and amazing as you think, and it was just great. It was a amazing week, and I will hopefully share a little bit more of it with you as the days goes on, maybe in an episode of Paleo Fridays. But today, as I said, it's an episode of Skulls with Seth. So who are we going to be talking about? Well, we're going to be talking about Homo naledi in general, but we're also going to be focusing on a specific individual. And you've seen this skull before. This is Nao's skull. And Nao was discovered, or at least announced, in 2017, and is the most complete Homo naledi skull, uh, excuse me, complete naledi skeleton yet found. Let's get a good look at that. You can see all the sides, all the features. Now, if you recall, in the last episode of Skulls with Seth, we looked at Letty, a Homo Naledi child. And I will bring that up in a moment so you can see what that child grew into. Right when we're done examining Nao, his mouth, his mandible, his different features. You can see he has almost all of his teeth, which is just remarkable. The skull is almost 100% complete. It's just remarkable. Now, I'm going to bring up Letty's skull, which again was that child from the darkness of Rising Star, as we all like to say. So this is Letty. This is the child that was discovered in the Chaos Chamber in Rising Star. Neo was discovered in the Lissetti Chamber in Rising Star, which is a much more easily accessible chamber where I believe we have discovered evidence of fire use. I might be incorrect on that exact chamber, but I'm pretty sure fire use has been found throughout, so that's a pretty safe statement. So here's what Letty will turn into. Letty on the left, Neo on the right. So, obviously quite a stark difference. But if you look at a modern human baby skull, of course, there's going to be differences with an adult as well, but much less so than this. It's quite interesting. I don't believe I mentioned it in my Letty video, and I'll try to add a photo at this point in the video of Letty, but when the, they're this old at this stage, this hominin, Homo naledi, almost looks exactly like the Tong child, which is Australopithecus africanus. So these two species, despite almost a two million year difference, seem almost exactly the same at this stage in their development. So along with Neo, I'm going to show another skull, which is what we call a composite skull, meaning it was put together from pieces of skull that we have found of Homo naledi, and it was the first idea of what a Homo naledi complete skull would look like before Neo or any of the other skulls were discovered. So this was the archetype, the type form of what Homo naledi would look like. So this was the first image of a skull of Homo naledi that we would see. This is not an actual skull of Homo naledi. 
it is pieces put together, parts were missing, we figured out what they would look like. And as we can see, they're quite similar. In fact, if Neo is a male, this could be a female. I'm not sure what the thoughts are on that are. But we can see they are quite similar. The researchers were not that far off. The mouth on Neo is a little more prognathic, meaning it sticks out a little farther. And the face is vaulted a little higher, I would say. But the skull cap in this one is a little more rounded, whereas in Neo, it is a little more oblong and football shaped. As we can see here, we've got the composite with the rounded, domed shaped skull, more like ours. And here we have a more oblong shape, say more like a Neanderthal, something more archaic. Um. And then there's something else I wanted to show you guys. It's not necessarily a skull, and of course that would place it outside of Skulls with Seth, but since we're just talking about Homo Naledi, I wanted to show these guys off, as I don't think I've ever shown them, nor will there really be a better time to. So here's a foot of Homo Naledi, and I want you to recognize and notice how small this is. Here's my hand, and this is a adult foot of Homo Naledi. As you can see, this part is missing. I assume that's because that part of the fossil was missing. But we can see with my hand the size of the foot, and then I also have a hand of Homo naledi, which looks, and as well as the foot, they both look remarkably modern. Of course, say the hands are slightly longer and more curved than ours would be. We can put that in. Again, much smaller than our hands. I've, I'd say large hands, but still quite, quite small. But they are much more curved. And then in comparison, so we have my head and my hand. And then we have Neo's head and their hand. So it's definitely, um, what's the word? comparable, proportional, there we go. It's definitely proportional to its species size as far as our hands go to our heads. Um, and let me just give you a quick detailed look at this hand. Then you can see all the bones in the wrist as well. Then let me get you a good look at the foot, because I don't think I really did. Let that focus in. There we go. There's the foot. And just... I'm not going to hold my foot up to the camera, that would be a little weird, but here is the foot compared to Neo's head. Quite small, uh, comparatively, I would say, than our feet and our heads. So, of course, I'm not going to go too much into the what or who Homo Naledi is, because as viewers of the channel will know Homo Naledi is quite dear to my heart. It's what got me into paleoanthropology and anthropology in general. Homo Naledi is an extremely enigmatic, mysterious, and important species in the story of our human evolution, although we don't know exactly what that story is just yet. There's a lot of information about to come out. I can tell you... I learned a few things at the AABAs, and I'm not going to say anything, except we are going to learn it all in June. We're going to have three papers dropping in eLife, which is an open source journal. Everybody's going to have access to it, and you better believe I will be reporting on it the second that stuff drops on the internet. I will have videos, new content, and interviews with the people involved. And you can just wait for that because it's going to be absolutely amazing. Of course, we know one of those discoveries is fire and the use of fire. So we're going to see that paper. But the other, the other discoveries are complete mysteries. And it's going to be 
worth the wait. And with that, I'm going to leave it off with all of my wonderful Naledi skulls. We will conclude this episode of Skulls with Seth, the most skulls we've looked at in a single episode, I believe. So I hope it was a good one. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Enjoy. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to email me at worldofpaleoanthropology at gmail.com. And feel free to visit the website, www.worldofpaleoanthropology.org. Like, subscribe, and follow for more content. And as always, there is always more to learn. Peace.